Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at the updated grid fill tool in Blender 4.5, which now can correct or replace topology for selected faces. We will look into different examples and see how we can use it. So let's start with this. Here we have a Sophia object and in the middle we have a flat surface. Go in the edit mode, select the face that you want to fix. To use grid fill, you can find it in the face menu under the fill option or you can also use the search command. You can assign a custom shortcut or add to quick favorites. Run the grid fill tool and here is the result. You can see that the face topology has been filled with clean edge flow which matches the surrounding faces. You can also fill open face as well. Important thing to keep in mind is that your mesh should have some clean topology on the outer side for best results. Let's look into another example. Here we have distorted faces in the middle. We will select some of these faces. Keep in mind your selection will have an impact on how the results will look. Run grid fill. You can see the result is a complete mess and looks terrible. We will undo that. I am going to increase the selection area. And if we run grid fill, you can see that the new topology is far more better and clean. Select the corner faces and run it again to fix any distortion. Again, the result will depend around the surrounding topology outside the selection area. Moving to the next example. In this, if we select few faces and run grid tool, you may get an error which says select two edge loops or a single closed loop. Nothing is changed in the topology. To fix this, you will need to increase your selection area. Run grid fill and now it is able to reorganize the faces and create a better topology. If you just randomly select some faces and try to use the grid fill, you will either get an error message or some unexpected messy results. Here in this cylinder example, I can select the top faces and run grid fill. You can also use the simple blending option. There is offset setting to rotate the faces. In this example, we can see our topology is quite distorted. We have many faces going up and down at different places. I will select some faces and try to run the grid fill. We get the same error as before that requires to fix the edge loop selection. We will increase our selection area. And if we run grid fill again, we may not still get clean results. So we will improve our selection area where the boundary edges can be matched with the outer faces. And if we run grid fill now, you can see our result is far more better and clean. Increasing the selection area a bit more and running the tool again. We 
we can see our topology is matching with the outer faces more. In this way, you can easily fix different topology issues in your model. You can download Blender 4.5 and check it yourself. And this completes the tutorial. I hope you find this short video useful in some way. To see more in the future, please give this video a like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.